welcome to The Upkeep for Monday, December 11th, 2023. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And we're starting off this week's news with a brand new format. That's right. It's arena only and it's called Timeless. All cards on arena are legal. Whoa. This, I know. <laughs> this is a place for very powerful cards like those found in the Mystical Archive, the Enchanting Tales, or the upcoming Cons of Tarkir fetch lands that are now going to be on Arena thanks to Cons of Tarkir arriving on Arena. So they want to have a place for those that won't overpower other constructed formats. Yeah, Wizard of the Coast said the reason they wanted to make this new format is because, quote, players proved there is demand for this format with their engagement and support during the historic no band list and historic basically no bands events that they ran in September and November. So they're pre-banning the Cons of Tarkir Tarkir fetch lands in historic but before not it comes out. In timeless. But not in timeless. So they're wow. saying that's a place for that. Historic has become a very curated format. And they're saying timeless is going to be a place where anarchy reigns. That's not a quote from them. <laughs> That's an interpretation from me. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, timeless, another thing about it, which people, I, I think, by and large, don't like, but that's how it's going to start, everybody, is it's going to use the rebalanced versions of digital cards, yes. uh, but the original versions of paper cards. It will also have a restricted list, meaning you can only play one copy of the card. So far, the current restricted list includes Channel, Demonic Tutor, and Tybalt's Trickery. They say, quote, these cards have earned their place on the restricted list I'll say. based on their performance in our history. <laughs> historic no band list event. Uh, so Timeless will begin on December 12th. So that's tomorrow if you're listening to this episode the day it comes out. And Midweek Magic will be Timeless this week. They're going to have best of one and best of three ranked queues and an unranked queue available to try it out for the first time. Next up, first look at Murders at Karlov Manor happened last week. We met Alquist Proft, the best detective on Ravnica, who will join Kaya and Kellen to sleuth out a murderer. Yes, uh, this set looks very cool already. We know that clues are returning to this set, which is like, I think, just a universally beloved yes. mechanic. <laughs> very good. And are present in one of the cards that they've shown off, which is none other than Alquist Prof himself, Master Sleuth. One white blue for a 3-3 legendary creature, Human Detective. That's right, Detective is yeah. now a creature type very that we cool. can have. Uh, vigilance, when he enters the battlefield, investigate and X white blue blue tap sacrifice a clue you draw x cards and gain x life beautiful i just can't wait for a first squirrel detective that's a type line i'm looking for yeah i you know i Don't know you disappoint are me, <laughs> we also got to see art from 10 different witnesses suspects or characters otherwise involved in the case like rakdos judith and krenko uh we also got to see three kinds of showcase frames that are coming out with this set there's the magnified showcase frame which looks like you're looking through a, a gilded magnifying glass at the subject there's also dossier which is like a little uh, typewriter up dossier on a character which is very fun and the ravnica city treatment which is just beautiful the city forms a frame outside of the art and inside it kind of looks uh, alphonse muka inspired artwork on the inside of the frame. We see this on Aurelia, the law above. This is also going to be the premiere of the new Play Booster when Murders at Karlov Manor comes out. There's also going to be a Ravnica Clue or Cluedo edition that will include, include reprints and new to magic cards and somehow, I don't know the specifics, but combines both magic and Clue gameplay. It's a self-contained game and has everything you need to play in the box. The pre-release for Murders at Karlov Love Manor is held February 2nd through the 8th and releases on Arena on the 6th with a streamer showdown event prior. More arena news. Cons of Tarkir, of course, is on arena tomorrow. Wow. So excited. So excited. I know. Very exciting. There's a Cons of Tarkir arena open this week in December 16th through 17th. Heck yes. Oh, very Goodbye, very excited. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's also going to be a jump into Middle Earth. It's going to return starting December 12th tomorrow again as well. This is the, the jump in events where you pick from two packs. You combine them and you do some battles. So it's a great new uh, new player friendly format and just costs like a thousand gems I think to enter so it's pretty cheap yeah there's a new secret lair 
uh, as a crossover with Doctor Who Regeneration that features characters and moments from the Doctor Who 60th anniversary specials that just very, very recently aired. I know it's all over my timeline, people talking about this. Yes. Uh, so the secret layer drop includes Rose Noble, the Meep, who I have not watched the special, but <laughs> hold me back when I see the Meep because this guy <laughs> is so cute. The Celestial Toymaker, the 14th Doctor, and that's right, the 15th Doctor. Welcome to the family. DreamHack is this weekend in Atlanta. It's featuring the U.S. Regional Championship. It's Pioneer. And this is the first big Pioneer event after those Pioneer bands yes. that we saw come down last weekend. It qualifies players for the first Pro Tour of next year, which is in February in Chicago. Yeah, they've got $130,000 to give away for this uh, Regional Championship. There'll be lots of other events all weekend long, too. So if you live near Atlanta, you want to play some competitive magic, think about checking out DreamHack. This this also wraps up this season's cycle of regional championships, qualifying people for playing in Chicago next year. So good luck to all the competitors and congratulations to everybody who we'll be seeing in February next year. Speaking of Magic Cons, if you want to host a panel at Magic Con Amsterdam, applications are now open. That event is happening June 28th through 30th. Amsterdam is a remarkable city if you have never been. I've never Highly been. Highly recommend. I've, it is. I'm just so excited. It is spectacular. Yes. Great place. We're going to be there. So if you want to be there and you want to run a panel, think about it. Wizards wants some suggestions from you all. So if you have an idea of a cosplay workshop or an activity, maybe something with families, trivia, Q&A, whatever you want to do, uh, they want you to submit if you've got a panel idea. The uh, deadline for that is going to be March 10th and you can apply at MTG festivals.com new perspectives grant applications will also open soon everybody as well as a cosplay competition so stay tuned well that's all the magical news that we have for you this week friends you can check out our full length podcast good luck high five wherever you listen to this podcast and you can support that show this show and everything that we make over on patreon.com slash glhf magic good luck.